So this is our day two wrap up, and if the you, first full day, yeah, yeah, our full, our first full day in Hawaii. So this morning we horrible got time up. sleeping. Just let you know. Yeah, we had, I had a now actually I don't think I had a hard time going to sleep at all, but Kevin and I both had a hard time going to sleep, and the elevator is right outside of our room, and so like one o'clock in the morning. Yeah, you got people laughing, and laughing, yelling at each other. Yes. And I wish I knew where their room was, I told Ashley, because at about six o'clock in the morning, I would have liked to have gone outside their room and laughed, really laughed. Ashley said they wouldn't have heard you, though. Yeah, um, they were so toasted that they'd be asleep yeah. in their bed. She said they would just sleep through the whole thing. I mean, matter. I slept through the whole thing. I woke up once. Was but we, we had a hard time going. I had a hard time going, going to sleep. sleep. It was yeah. too quiet in here. It was very, very quiet. Um, we've talked about how it would be nice maybe to have a sleep machine or something like that. Makes a little noise. Uh, yeah. Um, so we got up this morning though, and we mm -hmm. got up early. Yeah, it was like, I, I swear I got up at like 4.30. <laughs> it was, it was really early. And, um, we, uh, of course had to look at the ocean first thing, which was gorgeous. But which we got to see in the light. Yes, for the first time. But then we went to eat breakfast. We ended up, dinner, yeah, right? getting dressed and everything. And we went to eat breakfast at, um, is it Max? Yeah, I think it was called Mac. Mac. Max. Max. Yeah. 24 7. They're not open 24 7 right now because of COVID. But, but yeah, they open at like 6 to, uh, 6 to 12, I think, something like that. And so, we plan on having it again, definitely. Yeah, quite eat it tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we might eat it tomorrow morning because it was absolutely delicious. We all liked it. Um, they were pretty quick. They weren't really busy, mm -hmm. but, um, and at one point I looked around, it's like, oh, we're in trouble here because nobody's gotten their food. But once they brought, started bringing out the food, everybody got their food at like one time. Yeah. I mean, it and was And the poor like, girl was running. She was, yeah. It was just her. They only had literally one Literally yeah, yeah, she was literally taking this cart and like jogging. And jogging with it to yeah. get people their food. I mean, they... But the food was good. It I was mean, excellent. so yeah. yeah. Whoever was cooking it did a really good job. They, and, yeah. And then she got to the table fast when it came up. So mm -hmm. it was very, very good. Yeah. So we would definitely do that again. Mm -hmm. And then what did we, after we ate, we came back to the room and we changed. Mm -hmm. And we went to the beach. And the beach is directly across the street from us. I mean, it's a five minute walk. Mm -hmm. I have to wait for the crosswalk and then you get across the street. And it was absolutely wonderful uh, let me tell you something that ashley and i discovered we felt a little foolish because it took us hours and i would have never figured it out if it weren't for ashley there's a uh like a i think like a man-made kind of like cove in front of our hotel so we walked on down to where you get people surfing and stuff like that yeah, the man-made part is like it's just they put a uh, brick they put rocks on there so it's yeah. like break water so you don't get the waves. The waves break on the rocks. And then by, by the time you get in the little circle, it, it's pretty calm. So we went down to the, the section over from us. Yeah. And it was very, very rocky from uh, the little shells, from the seashells. It will hurt your feet. I mean, they will hurt your feet really bad. But, uh, so you have the sand, which feels incredible on your feet. And then you get to this rocky point near the water, and then when you get in the water, it's just like you're walking on glass, honestly. And so for a long, long time, we just thought, well, this is the way it is. And, you know, it's, and Ashley and I sat on the edge of the water and let the waves hit our leg. It was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Kevin set up on a towel. Mm -hmm. uh, because he didn't want to be down at the water at that time. He will go down to the water. He just didn't want to be today. But then Ashley took a few steps out into the water and Ashley figured out that right beyond the rocks on in the water, just a little bit, it turns to sand again. It was phenomenal. It was wonderful. It's like, oh my gosh, here all this time, we didn't go out further because we're thinking it's all these little rocks and it hurts or these shells, broken up seashells. No, it is sand out there, and it feels so incredible, uh, even when you're standing on the shelves, to stand on that, and then for the waves to come in, 
and to whatever's under your feet to literally yeah when it goes back out push it just that out pulls it right back out with it it's the neatest it you feel like feeling. You're it's the neatest feeling and so we sat at the water's edge and we would let the the waves come up and and uh, run over our legs and then it would go back out and all of those rocks underneath of us would adjust every time and we were out there for about two hours oh it was very very enjoyable sunscreen enjoyable. lots of enjoyable. sunscreen wear your sunscreen wear your sunscreen but i'm gonna be honest with you none of us puts on uh, I ashley some. and i we put i, I put it some. on my face i don't know if ashley put any on her face or not today i think she did but I put drunk elephant on my face, and um, and you had that on too. Ashley had that on too. The only thing I didn't put on was my legs. But we didn't have any skin sunscreen on our arms or anything like that. But I'll tell you too, we were out there really, really early, really early, and I think that probably made it. Yeah. Difference. So the sun wasn't really high noon beating down. No, no, no. It was nice. I just sat on a towel and just uh, watched. Uh, we had our stuff down there. That's why I didn't want to go to the water, because we had our phones and stuff. Because we didn't really expect to go out, out in the water. So um, we took our stuff. But next time, we'll, we'll leave them. Yeah, we'll leave we'll them. We'll lock the them room. up in the safe. Um, we did get the safe working. I don't know if we mentioned it last night, but the safe wasn't working at all. So I went down, of course. Uh, went down and told them that it wasn't working. There was no power. I mean, literally no lights or anything. Came back up to the room, it was working. So it was working fine. It was but, working fine. But let me tell you this. But I, so I called down and canceled it. It was funny. And it, it's a big safe too. So if you want to stay here, the safe's huge. You could put, put three laptops in there. You probably could, Stack yeah. them on top of the one yeah. Um, It was funny because Ashley thought that we did a really good job of getting all the sand off of us out of and the And you beach. did. You got most of it off of me. Yes. But then we got to the room. But it not was in your purse. Yeah. yeah. There was... It was in the clothes. The um, Ashley went in the bathroom and she said from now on she will take her bathing suit off in the tub because she took it off in the floor and when she took it off, <sighs> sand came out of her bathing suit onto the floor. So she said, you're gonna wanna get in the tub and take your bathing suit off. So I got in there, I literally pulled my bathing suit down and this is way too much TMI, but I'm just gonna tell you. In the crotch of my bathing suit, oh, it was word. it was about this thick with sand all in there. I mean, it, there was just okay. Well, we had been sitting at the water's edge, and I had been shimmying my butt in that sand, trying to make a yeah. A booty you're, place. you're trying yeah. to get comfortable on those rocks because it's, it's kind possible. of uncomfortable on your bottom. Yeah. Uh, so because, when I got up, I had literally like a pound of sand. In my butt. We did not realize that sand. It was like that I it's going a diaper. Yeah, it's going up in. The so I. <laughs> yeah. So I, that's why I walked out the water because I was like, oh my god, it looks like I pooped myself. I have to scoop out sand from my bikini. Yeah. So I walked out in the water and I like squatted down. I'm sure. Oh my god, I can't even handle it. So. In so all so my, you'll have lots of sand in your bathing suit. Yes, yeah, sand's going to be in places where you never thought there would be sand. Where it should not be. No, you're no, you're no, would not. Well, and it makes that. sense. Like a bikini doesn't seal, but it just never occurred. It to never me occurred to us that, that it, it would, would build up. That it would no. But it was so much fun just to run our fingers the whole time we're sitting there, just to run your fingers uh, through the 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 shells and the sand, and it, it was just absolutely incredible. I can't wait to go back again. Um, then after that we got, um, um, we went to the mall, the outlet mall. The, oh, we went to the outlet mall and that was an adventure because we took the city bus <laughs> and it wasn't bad. Riding yeah. the city bus was not bad. The thing that takes time though is there are lots and lots of stops. Um, and it's cheap. If you, if you want to save some money, take the bus. Yes, because it was only like three dollars a person for us. Two seventy five. Yeah, for us to take the bus, but when we got to and I showed the the outlet stores, I showed you what was there. We went to a Safeway grocery store. I filmed in there, so hopefully you watched that video. Um, but it was going to take uh, two hours, over two hours, for us to get back to our hotel room. That's just the trip. Because the bus stops so many times. Yeah, the but the one route was, well, we had two options. We could have, when we got dropped off, we walked about almost a mile um, 
uh, next to a highway basically. literally across a highway yeah um, to get to the outlet mall so there's no bus stop like right there no directly to directly to Waikiki so yeah. you had to do um, you either had to take the one bus and then walk or you could transfer buses and not have to walk but it's a lot more stops so when we went back we didn't want to walk down there because we'd done that so we got one of, we were going to get on a bus that was a local stop and we transferred a bus the second bus was going to make 69 stops before we got back here. that's a lot of stops um, yeah and each one of, of them is probably a few minutes you know a minute well we had to wait between and buses. then you had to wait between buses so too, ashley so. had a brilliant idea yeah i was like i don't want to do that we're, well we're here in those shopping bags you all had bought three huge bags of groceries we, yeah we had bought bags of groceries and ashley had her own bag from calvin klein and heavy. and yeah and so ashley said let's do uber she said i will pay for it um she said it's worth it let's do uber and we had never done uber before had you had done Uber. i've never ordered an uber myself i've ridden in an uber as once. a guest With somebody else. yeah but yeah. they did all the fun stuff so i had to download it real so quick. ashley downloaded it she did it she got the girl's uh license number that you're supposed to check the license number to make sure it matches up with the, who you're the getting license the, plate. the license plate sorry the license plate and um it was a girl she actually was born and raised here and so we had an absolutely terrific conversation the entire time back to the hotel we were able to pick her brain a little bit and of course she was asking us questions about what we were going to do and we were talking lots about food and stuff yeah, like that eat. yeah and but she was really really enjoyable and ashley paid for that and ashley tipped her and everything um I think after, before the, how much was it before the tip? You don't have to tell how much you, unless you just want to. You, how much was it before tip? Oh, there was a lesson. Um, it was like $38. $38. So, we could the have. The taxi would have been 80 something. We could but have done. it was done. like a 30 minute drive. Where, where it, it was 30 minutes versus two hours. So for us, and it was hot, I will say that too. It was in the heat of the day. And we had been walking for a long time. We had been walking. I got my 10,000 steps. I didn't get my 10,000 steps yesterday, but I got my 10,000. I'm at 12,793. So not as much as I would have gotten at home, but I got over my 10,000. So a lot more today than yesterday. So then we brought our stuff back to the room. Hey, and lunch. Very dinner, really. Oh, yeah. We ate at the Cheeseburger in Paradise Place. Oh, so good. And what we did tonight, we'll probably try to do from now on. We left, what time did we get there? About 4.15? Yeah, something like that. We put our name in about 4.15, and they said it was going to be a half an hour wait. It was probably more like 45, 45 minutes. 45 minutes to an hour or something like that. Um, and they were quick with the food. So, so that gave us, in the time that we were waiting, we went in some gift shops, but it also said, I said, let's look at the menu, and that way we know what we want as soon as we sit down. So that's what we did. He brought us waters, and he's like, are you ready to order? Yeah, we're ready to order. And the food came out really quick. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what I did, okay? I'm sitting at the table, and uh, everybody, Kevin, Kevin and Ashley are still eating on their food, but I was finished. So I'm looking around the restaurant and I made eye contact with this woman across the room. And every time I would glance over at her, she was looking at me. <laughs> she was literally like staring a hole through me. And I, cause I kept glancing over there and I thought, what the heck does she, does she think she knows me? You know, what's going, you know, I didn't know what to think. So I turned to Ashley and I looked at her like, cause she's sitting next to me and I said, I said, there's a woman across the room in this pink shirt. And I said, She's, she keeps staring at me. And what did you say, Ashley? You said... I said, what do you mean? And you said, she keeps looking at me. She's, she's looking. She hasn't... You said, you said, she hasn't moved once. Yeah, I said, she hasn't even moved once. It's really bizarre because she hasn't moved one time. And I mean, the way you said it, it was like it was a murder mystery. She hasn't moved once. And I said, that's a cutout. Yeah, it's a cutout. Oh my gosh. And I said, you, I said, are, 
are you sure? Are you, because. I was like, yes, she hasn't moved in 10 minutes because she's made of cardboard. So what they have done <laughs> is, I don't know if you saw in the video, I panned around the restaurant and I don't know if I caught it when I panned around. But because of COVID, every other table has these cardboard cutouts of real people. One was of like Hulk Hogan and his wife. Another one of, was of these other people. So this woman was one of those. <laughs> it looked very real. She, I'm telling you, I still, it was unsettling. Every time I would look up at her and see her staring, it was unsettling to me because she looked so real. And she had this little smirk on her face. She did look kind of creepy. It was very unsettling. But the, because of COVID, they can't have t table one table after another. And so in order to make you feel like the restaurant still is full of people when you're looking around, they've put these cardboard cutouts at the table in between. Well, probably so people aren't like, that table's empty. Why can't we sit exactly. there? Exactly. And it makes it look like somebody's there. But I tell you what, it was the creepiest it thing. Was and just to, even after Ashley told me that, I kept thinking, is she right? Is it really a car? It, but it was. The woman never moved. And I, you know, she never moved. It was just creepy. Um, but the dinner was great. And then we came back to the room for just, just a few minutes. Just a few minutes to drop some stuff off, go use the bathroom, whatever. And then we went back out to, like... We visited two of the eight, uh, other ABC stores. Uh, one was a big one, and one was just kind of a small one. So. And then after that, we went to haagen -Dazs. Right. Ashley wanted, there is literally a haagen like, just a few doors down It's in the same block hotel. as the hotel. Yes. So it's We go out the door, and it's like two doors down, basically. And so we got haagen ice cream, and then we came back to the room. Yeah, and ate and Ashley and I sat on the balcony and ate ours, and Kevin sat right here because he wanted to sit on the nice soft bed. And the air conditioner. And the air conditioner, yeah. Um, but that has been our day too. Mm -hmm. Worn out. Ash Tired. Ashley has had her shower and she said she's going to bed, bed soon. It's only 8.51. Only uh, 8.51. We've been up for about 48 hours with about 6 hours of sleep. Yeah, so Kevin and I still have to take uh, our shower. shower um, contacts and all that good stuff. Yeah, take, I have to take my makeup off, all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, so that it, it it's been a great day though. Mm -hmm. If you had to name, what was your favorite thing you did today? Not counting eating. Not counting eating. Because uh, that's what I was gonna say. I was gonna say breakfast. Because eating, eating, breakfast 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 eating is pretty really good. good. Um, really, all we did we was, went to the Outlet Mall. Really, all we did was eat. Yeah. We went to the Outlet Mall. We and went the to beach. the ocean, and then we went to gift shops. Yeah, probably going down to the beach was not. It was probably one of the. I places. think going to the ocean was. Yeah. Which day. meal today was your favorite? Uh, the, breakfast. the breakfast. Even you with the pancakes. Yeah, because I like the pancakes. I like sweet stuff. I mean that the hamburger, that cheeseburger in paradise. It was really it was good. good. That burger was good. Um, I, yeah, I would definitely go there if you have one in your area. I highly recommend going there. Um, but I, the breakfast was so delicious that I I can't wait to eat that again. Which, so, and you want to try something different too? Yes. Next time, I th we, we believe we're talking about it for tomorrow, going back there just because we know it's good and it's easy. And we have to be somewhere at a certain time. Yes, we yes we have uh, we bought tickets uh, to something for tomorrow, and so we think we can get done with breakfast before we go on that. Um, but I will probably get more of something like Kevin and Ashley got today. Just a regular plate breakfast. Because I'm telling you, those potatoes were so good. I could eat just a plate full of those. Just mm -hmm. a whole plate full. So I hope you enjoyed getting to hear about our day two. And uh, hopefully you look forward to seeing day three. And we'll see you next time.